This is how we make the moonshine. Yeah, thank you for making me over here. Uh, Brian's supposed to bring us a bunch of raspberries. How many's he got? I don't know. A bunch, the way he talks. Five, six hundred pounds or something. I don't know. I think I don't know where he got a whole six hundred pound raspberries. I have no idea. 80 miles west in Graham County, North Carolina, Mark and Huck are rendezvousing with a local contact who has a line on mass quantities of fruit. Man, Huck's trying to make some money back from last year. We didn't make nothing last year, really. Well, it's got that little truck weighted down, ain't it? Yeah. It's quite a little, ain't it? Yeah. Usually raspberries, four, five, six dollars for just a little old bitty box of them, you know. If you get a chance to get some product like that free, you better grab it. Hello, bro. Hello, Mark. See what we got here. Uh. What is that? Is it jelly? That looks like jelly to me. But it's raspberry, sir. What do you think we're making? Pancakes or something? Boy, I tell you what, that's sweet. It wouldn't take much sugar, would it? No, it wouldn't take much to work to get it mashed in either, would it? Well, no, it's already broke down, that's for sure. You can see bits and pieces of them berries in there. Well, it'd save us a lot of work and save us some money on the sugar, too. Now in the world, you get 600 pounds of uh, syrup like this. There's a food processing plant that was closing down. They was going to throw it out. I told him I knew a couple guys that might can do something with it. I'd say we can do something for this. It'd be good on a biscuit, wouldn't it? Yeah, boy. I thought it was going to have a raspberry. I've never mashed in no syrup like this before. It ain't no telling how much liquor this might make 12 buckets for. It's got a real strong raspberry taste, but it's real sweet. They've put a lot of sugar in it. So we're going to try to make the best drink it was made. Thank you. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Thank Good you, luck to you. Yep. Oh. Boy, I tell you what, Mark. I ain't never seen that much syrup one time. We got the several buckets of good high quality raspberry syrup. We're gonna try to make some high quality liquor out of this. I tell you, that smells good. Whew. I tell you, we'll get a right smart flavor out of that. If we had something else with it, the better we could sell it. Well, we could uh, we could make us up some lemonade, flavor that pumper with it, and run it through it, and see what we come up with. I like a glass of lemonade, don't oh, you? I do too, good lemonade. I know people drink raspberry lemonade. Why not do it moonshine? That ought to be a good flavor. As the old timers would say, we could doctor it up a little bit. We could get some uh, real raspberries, you know. Pretty it up a little, maybe. We can make it look good and taste good, they'll buy it. A fortified wine, everybody looked at it, said something about the color, you know. Seemed like that maybe helped help to sell it. I believe it could be just the biggest hit as it is. Raspberry. Lemonade, moonshine. The sooner we get mashed in, I guess the quicker it'll go to working. Yeah. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Mm. You want to try three buckets for the barrel? I believe that'd be a good place to start, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, 150 pounds of syrup, that's a lot of syrup. It'd take a big biscuit for it, I'll tell you that. But it looks like taller, don't it? And somebody rip old pillar open, throw it on top of your head. <laughs> Raspberry and feathered. <laughs> <laughs> We usually put uh, 50 pounds of sugar. About 20 pounds all we need, I believe, don't you? Yeah. But these raspberries are so sweet. You can over sugar something, you know, it, it takes forever and ever for it to work off. So we figured we'd cut the sugar in half and uh, try that. Here comes the yeast. I don't want to do it right there, Mark. Grab that sheet there, Huck. Let's cap this off. We're going to get both these barrels capped off, getting them to working. We're going to make as much moonshine as we can out of this. New year, new products, new flavors. We stick you all summer, ain't it? Yeah. It smells good. It does, don't it? Getting better. This raspberry syrup, we'd never run anything like this before. There's nothing in it but raspberries and sugar, you know, so uh, we're just gonna have to see how it turns out. Well, it tastes good, don't you? Yeah. We lost a lot of money last year. Our fortified wine, uh, it sold good, but uh, 
the more we can make and the more we can sell, the better we're going to make it this winter. I guess we better build us a farm and squeeze some lemons, hadn't we? Yeah, buddy. These big fancy restaurants, people get this raspberry lemonade. You can see the sweat running down the glass. It really tastes good and looks good. So I think this run here will be a hit. We don't want to put no lemons in the still. What we're going to do is put it in the thumper. It'll give us a lot more flavor. Well, Mark will can't sell that liquor. We open up a lemonade stand. <laughs> Well, it comes out of that worm, you know, the brandy that we run. Should have uh, a little bit of the raspberry taste. By putting this lemonade in the thumper, we'll be able to taste both of them in it. Raspberry lemonade moonshine, I ain't never heard of it. Since we got the lemonade in the thumper, we got to get her calf on, get everything pasted up. The hottest we've got her now, it shouldn't take too long. It'll be running. And uh, ready to start running. Here it comes, Mark. She started running there, and uh, we're throwing out the heads, and uh, I'm gonna take me a good little taste of it. Good high proof, son, I'll tell you that. It's got a good flavor to it right now. We'll be able to tell more about it at the back end of the run. Get her doctored up just right, it's gonna be good. Essentially, all we got was syrup. We went out and bought a bunch of raspberries. We're gonna soak some of the raspberries in some of their high proof liquor that first comes out. <laughs> That's gonna be pretty. That's pretty, yeah. And then we're gonna doctor jars up to that. I believe this is just about done. All right, Huck, let's get to her. Can't sell it unless we jar it up. That's right. That smell just about gets you drunk, Mark. You gonna eat your tooth real there, Mark. Why oh, would you try one too? Oh, Lord. I will if you will. <laughs> Take your breath. Let it. I'll tell you, them berries right there, they're high proof. That is strong. If you eat one of them berries right off the top of that shine, the ground's liable to just fly up and hit you right in the face. Hey, how many berries you want to put in? I'm going to put over four or five. Yeah, we brought 36 jars with us. Old Huck, he's a scooping them out, and he's led it to it. Boy, that's pretty, though, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Does that remind you of being on the beach? I'm going to play some berries and lemons. I get them in there, you know, and I look at it. It looks real calm, peaceful, I guess you would say. I mean, it, it's pretty. Mark, let's uh, do a taste test here. Don't burn. Perfect. You taste the raspberries up there to start. Mm -hmm. a little bit of heat mm -hmm. right there, and then you can breathe lemon. Tell you what, if a man had an old bad cold or something, that right there would be good. Oh, it, we wound up with 12 gallon of good raspberry lemonade moonshine. Just something different. I think people will buy it and pay us good for it. Turn it this way a little No, the other way. But uh, we still got to make a, a whole lot of alcohol. Hey, lemonade. Oh, lemonade. <laughs> we didn't really make nothing last year, and uh, we got to make some money this year. Well, well it's got a good taste, well, don't I don't have trouble selling that. <laughs>